My dudes, what's going on? Welcome to the dream team that got to round 200. Gonna show you the setup that got me to round 200 and show you along the way how I achieved this and what to look for, and I'll give you some prerequisites to start out. And quick shout out to Sir Toby who helped me achieve this feat, and yes, you know he's part of the Itty Bitty Army. I'll leave a link to his Twitch if you'd like to show some support. Anyways, let's get into it. To start off, let's get set up. Our first thing we want to do before we start is set up to reduce as much lag as possible, because this build will cause a severe amount of lag. And sorry mobile users, this might crash your phone. And before we get ready to go off to the races and try to achieve this round 200, we need to capitalize on one thing, and that's pet damage percent. Places to get pet damage percent will be from Croissant, which gives you 1% per level. We also have Wedding Cake that will give you 2% pet damage per level up. We have the Beast Tamer talent called Arena Spirit, which gives you unlimited entries for a set amount of time, depending on what level it is. And it also gives you passive pet damage, so you can get up to anywhere from, if it's just at level 100, you can get up to about 15% pet damage. And from the Stilt Seekers, you can get a material called Condensed Zap which will help the Violetro Lights, which will give you more pet damage. I suggest getting these all leveled up before you go ahead and try to make this attempt because it makes your life easy. And how it scales with pet damage is it takes your base damage off of your pet and then adds a percentage to it. So higher base damage you have, the more percent of pet damage you're going to be receiving. So after all those pet damage multipliers that I just mentioned, we end up with a whopping 104.5% pet damage when I actually did this attempt. So make sure to get that pumped up as soon as possible. This will make your life 10 times easier. The next on the list is lag control, just to help make it a little bit more manageable with a ton of stacks. So our objective here is to take away lag from absolutely every source on World 4 main hub. So anything that has any sort of animation, we want to get rid of. So the easiest way to do that is simple. We go to donuts, we go to new recipe, begin recipe, instantly cancel it. So now we have no animated for that kitchen. So we want to do that for every kitchen. So now that all our kitchens are inactive, it's time to move on to the fence yard. Since the fence yard gives a ton of characters moving around in the fence yard, it's gonna cause a lot of lag as well. So what we wanna do is we can completely get rid of absolutely everything. Now, since we've removed everything, you go in, you can see that there's no animation whatsoever in the fence yard, which makes it a lot easier when you're doing this pet arena. And for the last thing, you wanna make sure to change a world and find a world that has absolutely little to no one on it to reduce the amount of lag that you're going to receive. So for this one, we have World 15 on Lava World, which is, has absolutely nobody on it. So this is the setup in this order from left to right. We have Rattler in the back, followed by Defender, Badumtis, Refiller, Looter, and Burger. This build is gonna require a ton of spamming, but this is the team that got me to round 200. Most of my team when I attempted this was about 40K, but in reality, you don't need that. The Rattler needs to at least be 15 to 20K at least, same with the Burger. Everything else doesn't really matter because by the time you get to that point where the enemies are even attacking you in the first place, you're gonna get one shot anyways, regardless of pet level. So ideally, just make sure you have a juiced out Rattler and juiced out Burger and you're good to go. Now that we set up with all the prerequisites, Let's get into the actual pet battle itself. I'll be speeding up a lot of the video to make it a lot faster because it took me three and a half hours to complete to get to round 200. And I'll explain along the ways of what milestones you're supposed to hit with the whale stacks, rattler stacks, etc., etc. Start by spamming everything except for burger and defender. You need to build as much whale stacks as possible. And since the burger has so much HP, you can just tank and the looter, if you have the forager and miasma unlocked, it will just end up getting full healed. We'll come back when we've hit our first 250 stacks. We got our first 250 stacks from the whale. Now keep on spamming everything except for burger until the burger dies. You'll see why shortly. While we're going through this 400% speed just to, you know, hang out and just see the cool, awesome content that's having, I just wanted to talk to you guys for a little bit. It's been about eight months since I started make making Eidolon content. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys had fun. We're not going to be stomping Eidolon content anytime soon. There's still lots to do, especially with the huge uprising soon of the 
iOS event, so Apple players are going to be able to experience also with the full release of the game. I just want to give a quick thanks to everybody for all your support over these past eight months. It's been really crazy how, how my YouTube account really blew up because of this. So thank you guys. Thank you for being there. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for all your likes. Thank you for all your comments. We're getting really close up to that 4K mark. So I just wanted to say thank you guys and stay tuned for lots of good Eidolon content to come. We still got a ton of the combat series to do. We also got a lot of skill guides to do. And we also got some beginner guides to do with some fun challenges as well. To be honest with you, I, I thought this would never happen. I thought I would never get to a point when I started doing my Stream Raider series when I did when I first began. It wasn't really happening, wasn't really working out, but with this Eidolon, it feels like I truly found my niche for the time to help grow and give you guys the best way to go on your Eidolon adventures and just keep on moving forward without feeling overwhelmed and looking for somebody to help you. And I'm glad that you guys have chose me for the most part, so I just wanted to say thank you guys and all the support they've been giving me. It's been absolutely massive. I hope that everybody's having an awesome time during it. And tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Are you guys still- do you guys like my content? Do you guys enjoy my content? What parts do you like about it? Uh, I'm always big for constructive criticism. So anything that you guys have, I will read. I read every single message and I reply to every single message or at least try to. So just let me know. I would love to hear from you guys. I always love hearing from our community. And uh, I felt like we've uh, gotten to a place that uh, feels really good. I'm definitely excited to keep on growing and see what happens. But for where we are right now, I couldn't be happier. You guys have made me a happy man. So thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's get back to the video. Now, why did the burger die right there? Well, that's easy. That's because the looter ended up proccing alchemic trait that made all the attacks into skulls. That includes the shields. So since the burger is now dead, we do not use the looter whatsoever to avoid alchemic procs. And now just keep on spamming everything except looter till you get 4,000 whale stacks. We lost our looter, but that's also okay because we need to lose him eventually due to lag and potential white screen, aka flashbang. Since we aren't using the looter anymore, he was free to die. So basically just keep on doing the same thing where you spam rattler, defender, whale, and refiller to keep on going all the way to 4,000 stacks. So to save the sake of the video for this being absolutely a long one, let's go ahead and skip until we have the 4,000 stacks so I can explain what to do next. We lost our refiller midway through, but that's okay because we also had a reduced lag. It's good to lose about three units. We did lose them to RNG, which feels bad, but now we have a whale at 4,000 stacks. Now, the reason why you don't want to go farther than 4,000 stacks is because you're going to go at about 0.25 frames per second if you have any more than 4,000 plus. So if we want to avoid this taking six to eight hours, that's exactly why you keep that 4,000 stacks. And also, we're getting enough lag. Now, the reason why we want a little bit of lag is because with the Defender, while you're spamming like a 10-star Osu player, you can have it so there's a constant line of shields in the background. There will never be a shield that's ever disappearing. It will always be there. So now the whole time for the rest of it is basically preying on RNG. From 180 to 200 is an insane amount of health scale. It gets up to the quadrillions. So after this, once the whale is at 4,000 stacks, you stop pressing whale and you only press rattler and defender. That's it. Keep on pressing it. Keep on going. There is, once there's enough leg, you can get to a point where you can hold down the button for the defender, but I strongly don't suggest it in case something happens. I know I didn't. I've had people tell me that you can, but I don't trust it because once you get this far in, realistically, you can't trust something like that because you're so close extremely close but to give you a reference about 1 to 150 takes about 10 minutes and then 150 to 200 takes three hours and 20 minutes so you could just assume how long that this is going to take
And there we go, we managed to survive all the way to round 200. We chopped a lot of it out. If enough of people request it, I can give the full raw footage of the three and a half hour round 200 arena pet battle push so you guys can see it real time. It's a ton of lag and it's completely monotonous, but you know what? It got done and it was a feat that needed to be shown. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys had fun. I hope you guys watched all the way through. And if you did, thank you so much. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, if you'd like to support the channel, it's always greatly appreciated. And thank you so much. Once again, we're almost at the 4K mark, so I super, super appreciate it. You guys have made me a happy man. Anyways, guys, tune in for the next Eidolon video. Stay safe, happy grinding, and peace out.